Big East matchups. This one is Texas and Creighton. Texas had already has a mighty win over Gonzaga earlier this year. Now laying seven against Creighton on a Thursday night. Uh, Creighton, who played well in Hawaii in that tournament, uh, in the Maui Invitational, 138 is our total. We do not have an official play here. Kyle Hunter, give me a thought to start us off here on the College Basketball Show on this matchup, if no official play. Yeah, I got to tell you, I thought long and hard about betting the under in this one. This was one of the ones that I considered betting. Uh, it was actually 141 last night, and it's down to 138. So I'm glad I wasn't planning on having that one on here because I would have not known what to do here with a three-point drop. A couple things kept me off, though. Texas has been in, tra in transition a lot more this year. They've played much faster. 20% of their offensive possessions have been in transition. Uh, that's way up from last year. Creighton's offense, too, uh, clearly a lot better than they were last year. If you look at Creighton, uh, you know, you add in – uh, more shooters on the outside. This is a, a Creighton team that I think is going to be pretty good offensively. If you look back at last year, they were not nearly as good offensively as they've been some years in the past. They were very good on defense. Now they bring in Bailey Shireman, a uh, pretty big addition there on the outside. Certainly they still have uh, Kalkbrenner down on the inside. Great shot blocker. Creighton, obviously the team that a lot of people were saying is the Big East uh, team to beat. And then, of course, it looks like they're going to have some uh, – some pretty tough competition with UConn. Texas, uh, you know, I think the jury out a little bit on Texas. I know they looked really good against Gonzaga, 93-74 win. They really haven't played anybody else. Uh, so I want to see what Texas looks like. I do think Texas is better on defense than they are on offense. Uh, I don't expect to see them put up 93 points consistently. So I, I still lean to the under a little bit here, but um, Creighton's good enough efficiency-wise on offense that I'm a bit worried to take the under at this number. Creighton's efficiency in pick and roll ball screen action is ninth in the country. They're running that a lot this year. Let's see that Texas defense with Chris Beard against that pick and roll offense and Bailey Shireman popping out there for the threes too. I think that'll be interesting. Kyle gave us a lot there. I know, Maddie, you do not have an official play either. Tyrese Hunter is the leading scorer for Texas. Thoughts on this matchup with Creighton? It's a home game for the Horns. I think the key matchup here is uh, up front. You mentioned Ryan Kalkbrenner, the big uh, epicenter of Creighton's front line. Uh, but on the other end, Dylan Disu for Texas has been a, a, a sneaky revelation this year. He was hurt a lot last season. He's been much better this year, now fully healthy. Um, had a setback last game. I haven't heard an official update. I believe he's supposed to play tonight. Um, but if he's anything than less than 100%, I think you have to really look closely at a potential um, you know, an edge inside for Creighton uh, with Kalkbrenner if they can get him the ball, right? That's the key. Texas – you can get it inside, you have a chance, but with the pressure they put on you on the perimeter, um, it's not very often you get it there. So, All right, again, Texas favored by seven in this one. There's not an official play from the handicappers. Again, that's part of the made-for-TV Big 12 Big East matchups.